hey welcome back everyone in this video we are going to use some 3d models to make our game awesome so without further ado let's get into it if you don't have the models that i created in the previous video you can go to this link i'm gonna put the link in the description go ahead and download that and it's going to be downloaded as a zip file then open it up and extract it and uh, drag and drop that folder into unity and it's going to be imported under this models folder you can see all the models that we are going to use like the road and all of the obstacles like the traffic cone and the, the wheel and it's going to be our player first let's delete this ground we are going to use our tiles and let's start by creating the first one so in the hierarchy let's create an empty game object and let's rename it to tile one then reset the transform and under models we have this road go ahead and drag and drop this road model into this empty game object and this is going to be our first tile so with no obstacles but we need to add collider to this road or our player will fall down as you can see it over here so select the road model and let's add new component and let's add a box collider now our player will be on the top of uh, this road as you can see it over here now we need to make prefab of this tile so that we can use it later on so under assets let's create new folder and let's rename it to prefabs then go ahead and drag and drop this tile into this prefabs folder now we have this prefab over here you can use it again let's move to the next tile so we are going to make new tiles with, uh, with uh, some obstacles so let's unpack this prefab and let's rename it to uh, tile 2 so we are going to add some obstacles so under models let's try with uh, the traffic cone go ahead and drag and drop this traffic cone into this empty game object now you can see it in the game view let's change the position to 2.5 but we need to move it a little bit to the top so let's choose uh, 0. Four or three and it's a little bit uh, big so we are going to change the scale factor so go ahead and select this traffic cone and change the scale factor to 0 0.7 and that's okay for now so let's create a new one but we need to add a box collider to this traffic cone so that we can check for collision later on for our player so I'm gonna add a new component box collider then control D to duplicate it and let's move it to the other side minus 2.5 and this is our second tile with two obstacles now go ahead and drag and drop this over here to make a prefab of it so let's create new one the same thing let's impact this prefab and let's remove this traffic cone and make just one on the right side and let's rename this to tile 3 the same thing drag and drop this to make this tile so you can make any number of tiles you want 
so I'm gonna make another one with the traffic cone on the left side five and let's rename it to tile 4 then drag and drop this over here now I'm gonna use the other models so let's impact this prefab and let's rename it to tile 5 and I'm gonna use the road works barriers so let's use the high one but it's a little bit big but we can change the scale factor over here so let's try with 0 0.5 then hit apply no I'm gonna change it to 0 0.7 apply that's okay for now but let's move it a little bit to the bottom over there so this is going to be like that the player needs to slide to pass this obstacle so that's why we need to put it over there I'm gonna change it the scale you get the idea now we are going to add some colliders to this so I'm gonna add a box collider but we need to move it a little bit over here so if the player collides with the, this box collider he will lose that's why he need to slide to avoid this obstacle the same thing drag and drop this over here now let's create the final one we need to unpack that then delete this high barrier and let's use the lower one under the models we have this roadworks barrier low we are going to move it a little bit over there but I'm gonna change the scale a little bit so select the scale tool and you can choose whatever scale you want from here then let's move it about there then you are going to add a box collider so add component box collider and let's change it a little bit using uh, this icon over here so the player have to jump to pass this obstacle or he will die we can test this time to see if the player can uh, jump so I hit the up key the player can jump now let's make a prefab of this style so drag and drop this into the prefabs folder and now we have all of the tiles that we are going to use in the next videos to make the road with uh, these tiles so to see how our level will uh, looks like we are going to use some uh, tiles to get the idea let's choose the first one then let's uh, put this and in order to move it let's choose uh, 30 for the z position because the length of each of these tiles is uh, 30 now let's choose uh, this and move it 
about there and then let's try with this one let's put it over there now let's hit play you see now how these tiles are working together to make this good looking level so we have to avoid obstacles and slide so as you can see our player can slide so we are going to add this functionality later on but for this obstacle we need to jump to avoid it or we will lose you can also play around with the player settings over here for the for example the forward speed you can increase it you can change the lane distance and the jump force so let's put it to 10.5 so let's try it again so that's pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe and like the video if you like it and uh, have a great day